Uh, hey, so I want you to think about the differences between being caring and being a caring person. All right. And the way I would describe this is like if someone says I care about this or like, don't you care about this thing? Like, aren't you interested in what's going on with X, Y, Z? You know, I'm kind of shaking my head as I say, like, nope, not interested. <laughs> Like, don't you care? That's what I mean by being caring. Okay. The difference between caring and being a caring person. Being a caring person is is when you take care of others. When if you were you were walking down a hallway and someone was bleeding there, you might stop and try to help them. You might take care of them. You might be a caring person. And it doesn't have to be nearly that extreme. Right. It could be something like you're at work. Someone's crying in their office. And you just ask, hey, are you doing OK? Would you like to talk about something? Are you like, can I help you in any way? That is being caring. That is being a caring person. But uh, <laughs> in that sense of a, of a workplace, it is also possible to not care about what's going on in someone's life. You might work with someone and not have any interest in sharing what's going on in your life with those people in your workspace. Not interested. Like, what did they do yesterday? What books are they reading? Do they have any siblings? Don't care. <laughs> you don't care. But you can still be caring towards them if they have a need or are expressing some kind of discomfort or what have you. You understand? Like, as if you shared an office with one other person, right? you might not know their middle name. It's probably very common that you don't know their middle name, in fact. And you might not know their family structure, their religious beliefs, anything like that. And you might be in a camp of thought, like, you just you don't care about that stuff. But as you leave that office, say you get up to go get yourself some water or coffee or something, you might offer them, hey, I'm going to get this thing. Do you want anything? Does that make sense? And I think we confuse these two things. I think as... As a work culture in general, here in the U.S., I we try to make everywhere we work a family. Oh, we're a family here. We're a family of workers. We, All of us, we've worked together now for two weeks. We're a family. No, you're not. No, you're not. You do not care about your fellow employees, what have you, in their lives, okay? Any aspect of it. You don't care nearly as much as you say you do. You can still be caring towards them. You can still give a crap if if they're struggling with something or if about their well-being. You still bring donuts on some days because that's damn decent of you. <laughs> but this, this confusion between the two, it's possible to not share what's going on in your life. Uh, hey, hey, this is something awesome going on in my life. I'm going to share it with the group or this is something I'm struggling with. I'm going to share it with these coworkers. It's possible to create those walls and not do those things and still be a caring person. Do you see? And some people in the workplace, I've, now, not just at my current job, but in previous jobs as well, I've just noticed this pattern where everyone is, is constantly trying to draw you into their work circle of super close, super valuable, super valued people. We are a family. I've left those workplaces. Not once has that family ever followed up with me. Okay. <laughs> like, hey, how you doing, Luke? We haven't talked in a while. You're family. Ever since you started working here, you were family. And then you left. I'm just, just calling to see how you're doing. Not once. Like some people I've worked with in the past, they've reached out and we've caught up. For, for Sometimes it's a, it's a given reason. Like, hey, I have some work. I was wondering if you're interested in it. And other times it's just... Hey, I thought about you and wanted to contact you, but not once has it been like we work together and we're super close because of that. No, but while you're working in these places, it's like, oh, we are super close. We're best friends. We're hanging out on Fridays. We care so much about each other. Nah, nah. <laughs> so now in this specific job that I have now, it's, uh, it's big to share What's going on in your life? It's big to share the goods, the bads, and everyone's super supportive, and it's great. I'm not knocking that. I'm not saying that's wrong at all. I, 
I've worked in many different places and I've noticed this pattern. And so now that I'm in this new job as of like four months ago or what, what have you, and it's the same kind of thing. I'm like, I don't share my successes with these people. I don't share the things I'm struggling with. Would it be nice to have that kind of social support and network? Uh, maybe, but I also have a wife and a family and people who actually care about what's going on with me, who I can talk to, who I can bounce ideas off of, who can help me actually solve the problems because they're probably involved with the problems. Well, not that they're causing it, but that they're related to it in some way. And I'm, I am so blessed to have that, <laughs> to have the closeness of friends, family, wife, brother, etc. You understand? And it, it just, it got me thinking because the longer I go not sharing at this job, I notice the more standoffish people get. They're like, oh, you're here for business. Oh, I will do the business thing. Hey, right, well, talk to you later. And I get it. I get it that I have created these walls. Totally. Totally. Where it's like, yeah, Luke doesn't really talk about what's going on in his life outside of work. I'm not quite to the level of a Ron Swanson. <laughs> I once worked with a guy and never knew his name. Best friend I ever had. <laughs> I, we still don't talk sometimes. It's not like that. I am sweating like crazy. If I turn on the air, you guys won't be able to hear me or it'll be annoying. Oh, cold and refreshing. All right, all right, all right, that's enough. Back to the video. You actually have to hit off. You can turn it on, turning it up, but turning it all the way down doesn't turn it off. So let's hit off. Thank you for your patience with that. Um, so what I'm noticing in this workplace is a very mild, very friendly standoffishness. And there's... there's I, 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 my point with that is like, I'm wondering if it's very common for people to mix up caring about stuff and being a caring person. Because everyone in that office is a pretty caring person. We're working in a school. I mean, that's you got to be pretty caring to work with kids. And I'm sure some of them care about each other. There's lots of friendships, people hanging out on the weekends, people going over to each other's houses. Absolutely. But in another 20 years, will any of these people reach out to me? Or wonder like, what about that IT guy? I wonder what Luke ended up doing. Does anyone really care about me? Nah. I'm really okay with that. I really am. Because... <sighs> Do I care about their well-being? It's like on a philosophical level, on, on like a, I want to send out good vibes to the universe. I want, you put the love out there. Um, I don't wish any ill will on anyone at my current job, at any job, anywhere. I, I hope everyone has the best life possible. The best blessings come to them. I hope everything is awesome in your life, in their life, in everyone's life. Because I care not about them specifically, but, a, but about like the well-being of people. <laughs> I want things to be good for me. I want things to be good for other people. I think if I'm having a good day, I interact with people better. So logically, I'm like, maybe other people interact with people better because they're having a great day, because good things are in their life, right? So I don't think... These people in these working environments really care about each other the way they say on the masthead of the company, like, we're a family. Ah, everything's great. I don't think it's quite there. But I think it's possible for you to care about others in like a general sense and wish well to people and still be a caring person in that you take care of those around you even if you don't care about them does that make sense i'm trying to work through this as well and i think people don't quite understand the difference between being caring being a caring person taking care of others all these different facets of this single word hopefully that kind of makes sense i'm the whole point of this video going into it was gonna talk to you about like Maybe divorce your 
your understanding of like, if people don't care about what's going on with people at the office, then they're not a caring person kind of thing. Like you don't understand that you can be caring and not care about something. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, no one really understands the word care in general, whether as a verb or as an adjective to yourself, you're a caring person or as a general mindset to be caring altogether. Like, I don't get it. You don't get it. The people in corporate America clearly don't get it because every company ever is a family and then they don't act like a family. Whatever. So just think of that as you go through your day. Just keep that in mind. Like You could be really close with the people around you in your work environment, but you're not a family. It doesn't substitute a family. <laughs> you're there to work. And it's okay to not care about what's going on in their life. You still care about them. <sighs> More on that later. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Like, what are your thoughts on this whole thing? Like, do you go to work? You're like, yeah, get to see my coworker. Coworker number one and I, woo, we are best friends. I love when they come over and we share meals and our families are like this, you know? I mean, like, close i don't know like you didn't see my my fingers come together so i just held up two fingers like i'm families they're like a pose of the hand <laughs> uh, okay i gotta go i got stuff in the bag i gotta deliver to my wife you all have a great day let's talk later <laughs> i care about you or do i i'm a spaz talk to you later bye <laughs> And if I may